Feels like a Friday when oh you've my got gosh, a food heat. truck. Steve's top dog is here. We Hot have, dogs and the weekend coming up. Zachary, oh. Steve, and Val, of course. The, it's a family affair. <laughs> How are you guys? Great. Good. good. All right, good. so at 9 a you put mayonnaise on a hamburger. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Steve, what, what, ha what was happening? What, what was going through your mind? He was trying to protect Sorry, your I diet. Forgot. He was trying to protect my diet. Yeah. How are you guys? Everybody good? We're doing good. We're Tell doing us good. about the truck. I want to know all about the trailer. Okay, so the trailer. Uh, we picked it up two years ago. Uh, COVID helped me save my pennies and move up because business increased. Uh, and you've been doing this a long time, we've right? We've been doing Steve? it 19 years as of May 21st. That's this so incredible. Wow. 19 wow. years. I mean, I love the color. It's like school bus yellow. You can't miss it. <laughs> can't miss it. That was the whole point. It's like, okay. My other truck was white, and people would drive right by me. I figured if it was yellow this time, they couldn't miss yeah, it. Yeah, and it's a happy color. Well, again, what's, what makes the best hot dog? People talk about the snap of a hot dog. Like, it's what? Just, it's a, people talk about the snap. It's always the snap. It can't be too tough. Okay. Can't be too soft. Can't you know? It has to have just the right amount. Okay. And Steve, you're in one location Monday through Friday. Yeah, I am uh, at Stocks Playground on Middle Street in Bristol. Uh, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 3, uh, okay. 3 30, I'm sorry. Uh, and then Friday, uh, Friday evening, Saturday, Sundays on the weekends, we cater. We do weddings, parties, barbecues. Uh, I have a full smokehouse menu. Oh, wow. you do have a full smokehouse menu. I have a full smokehouse menu. I mean, I, look at that menu. You've got sweet potato fries, poutine. Now, the yeah. poutine is because you're from Quebec, is yes. that right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. So, I, I actually import the gravy and the cheese to make sure it stays authentic. Okay. That is really so remarkable. I get the curd cheese delivered right to my front door. And we have, like, you can roll up and do someone's party too, right? Yep, yep, we do that. I designed the trailer to be to be a, a full steam table in itself. So this is a steam table under here, and there's a full steam table there. So we do buffet-style catering right from the truck. And oh Zach, what's it like working with your dad? It's awesome. I yeah. love it. I get to spend time with him, and get paid for it so <laughs> yeah, that's really good oh, i would get paid to spend time with my father that's amazing okay but yeah, some dad's we, uh, paying him to spend time okay <laughs> and then for for smokehouse we're actually going to be on the 24th we're going to be at evening sky brewery and i'll be doing my full smokehouse menu on that okay that's i call perfect. it tailgating with steve and val apparently yes. you are the mac and cheese aficionado i am the mac and cheese oh, aficionado yeah, tell that's us my a little language. bit about that <laughs> Uh, my, one of my good friends gave me her recipe that is in high demand when she goes to all her family barbecues and I put a little tweak on it and we now use smoked gouda. And so we have smoked gouda mac and cheese. Is that a secret? You cheese. should try to use a smoked gouda smoked if you're making gouda. it home. It's really good. It melts yeah. really good. Okay. Gives a little extra And something. you're not supposed to use the cheese that comes in the package already shredded because then Yeah, it, we shred it by hand. You got to shred it. And if you shred. do smoke gouda, fun fact, you got to peel off the little outside Oh, you got to peel off the rind. Because that doesn't melt. Or you That's just incredible. show up here and get it in the truck. Or Did that. you see the size of this hamburger? Oh my gosh. Are you <laughs> serving like 10 people? How much is that? Is that, is that like a, a pound? It's a half pound burger. Hand packed, fresh ground beef. I never use frozen meat. Wow. I see the knife dud. Oh, okay. I thought you were going for the mayo, Steve. <laughs> nope, I'm not going for the mayo. I don't want to ruin no, it. No, he's you. the There's top dog. Stuff. He knows and what he's poutine doing. is a Canadian specialty, isn't it? Yes, it, it was actually made in the province of Quebec. That is beautiful. Yeah, so I, in bringing it here, when I first bought the truck, my vision was to bring it and make it authentic. Something that we nobody has. Right. To make it the real way, the way it's supposed to be made. And what are the hours Monday through Friday so we can come out and visit you? Monday through Friday, I open at 10 a.m. and I close at 3.30. Okay. What is yeah. this that you've made us? This is a, uh, basically our loaded dog, no relish. It's beautiful. What's on it, ketchup and? Onion, ketchup, mm. mustard, uh, chili and sauerkraut. Reminds me of, you know, I grew no up in the rough. Detroit area. It reminds me of like a Coney dog. Uh -huh. Yeah, a real Coney dog. So yep. good. What do you tell people about, how, you know, what's the secret to a good dog? Is, is, is it the cooking process or, you know, I know you guys don't barbecue. What, you, what do you do? You steam dogs or? I do a combination of both. Oh, you do? Yep. It's a because secret. Because I want that grill flavor. You get the secret snap. Yes. All right, well, look at this. Uh, what do you want to eat? Zachary is putting the poutine on. This the is a beautiful curds. thing, the fresh curds, uh, excuse me, the fresh curds, and that's going on, and then you're going to put a gravy on top of put that? Put a gravy right on top of it, nice hot gravy to help melt that curd cheese. Oh my gosh. We also make a beef poutine as well. Oh my god, that's so incredible. We, we can top it with brown, uh, beef. Uh, well, we want to give everybody beef. your contact information. It's 860-938-2438, right? Yes, it is. Or at 
Steve's top dog. This is why he's the top dog, because he's got the snap, he's got the poutine, and hand ground. Oh my gosh, you grind your own burgers. Look at this poutine. I mean, this it's is up. a whole nother level. It's up, Ernie, it's up. Look at that. Is that not beautiful or what? <laughs> <laughs> that is smoking hot. That's mm. enough, I mean. Yeah, that's enough for 17 people. It's a good thing you're feeding the newsroom. They better I come out now. Know. One thing throughout the years, you notice the burger, you notice the long dog. I don't know how to cook small. Yeah, I you try don't cook to small. downsize things and I fail every time. Well, I mean, you always get your money's worth. <laughs> yeah. You always get your money's worth. And Zach, you love this. Yeah. I've used to work. Uh, keep going. Um, we're all throughout okay. like, middle school. I used to work the summer. That's all right. Our food is already ready. We don't care. If <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, say that again, Zach. All throughout middle school, I used to work summers with him, and then like over COVID, came back for the summer, and this summer I'll be back. back. Well, we can't thank you enough. Kara has the dog. I, it's delicious. I, I, I ate at 9 a. I'm still so I, stuffed. I mean, it's three now. You can eat more. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> very good. Well, again, Steve, Zach, Val, we can't thank you enough for being thank on the you. show. Thank we wish you continued success. Cheers to thank Friday, you. everyone. Is, Have a great weekend. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Well, between two buns, and I classify it as a sandwich for you, my catering menu. Dave you Ward, do. that was for you. Adam, you're in trouble. <laughs> uh -oh. Have a great uh -oh. weekend, everybody. Uh -oh. I'm the news of four is next. Now.